Alright guys, welcome to Fallout 4. I'm being quiet because this is a late night recording. There is no webcam also because of meh, reasons right now. Um, I will decide if I will be doing a webcam based on this recording. I probably will be running through main scenario, maybe some side stuff. We'll see where this series goes, if it gets some ground to it or not. Um, this is going to be a bit of a backburner project. I'm currently running four series as of recording this. Undertale, Turmoil, Dark Souls, and now this. Thinking about occasional Binding of Isaac. I just, I'm really enjoying the branching out of content. So, with that having been said, this is the fourth installment in the Fallout series. We're probably going to be looking at maybe just getting some character creation, starting the tutorial, and seeing where we end up. Um, we'll work out how long these videos are going to be after a while. First videos of the game series like this always tend to be a little bit longer. With it going on one minute now, let's start. Start new game. Yes, I would like to start a new game. Why am I getting ready to play like Dark Souls? I just have my, my key, my hands in the key position. War never changes. Boom. This is Fallout. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. I'm about to say, this has the look of character creation. Interesting. Although, could you imagine what it would be like if you, um, were looking in the mirror and all of a sudden your face started moving? I like how it's like, uh, look around as in just my face. Whoop, 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 get dizzy. Okay, I get made myself dizzy, so let's see. Ah. Oh yeah, this would be, oh god, I just changed nationalities. That would be very weird, especially for my wife over here. All of a sudden, just changing nationalities. How many faces are there? Going back down the list. Changed race there. Do I want to be an old guy? Let's cycle one more time. I think I might actually like the old guy face. Hmm. Yeah, I think... You know what? I always liked making characters older in the Fallout series for some reason. So, now I'm the granddad and much more befitting of the veteran. D. Uh. Oh, okay. D is face forward. Uh, sculpting face? Oh, okay. That's. Uh, let's see. Mouse, mouse wheel. What does that do? Ah, okay. That curves my face, my mouth in and out. You booker lips. Uh, scale is S and W, so down and up. Okay, um, E is to accept, so. What did she just say? Can break the nose a little bit. So it looks like he has a broken nose now. What did that do? W and E. Uh, you think my nose is too big? Is that your way of saying that, uh, wow, there's a lot of different parts here. See, mouse wheel is forward and backwards like usual. Um, A and D. Uh, A and D. What's that doing? Oh, it's rotating it between pointing downward and pointing backward. That's interesting. Scale is W and oh, looking good. Middle jaw. Uh, that's the outline of your jaw, more specifically. Um, mouse wheeling on this one, just as a slight forward and backwards. That one's pretty easy. I'll put his B 
the outer jaw is the most notable part of your face. That determines whether you have a square face or a pointed face. Um, hmm, mouse wheel on this one we already did. Scale is S and W, so that's overall size. I love that face. Okay, that that that's freaky. You have a long face or a short face? Let's go with a somewhat shorter face. Uh, mouse wheel is going to push the whole thing outward versus pull the whole thing backward. Let's go a little bit outward. I kind of like that. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Cheekbones or the cheeks. Let's start with the cheekbones. Men usually have more prominent cheekbones over women. Okay, let's not make a freak here. Oh, very strange. Poofy cheekbones, recessed cheekbones. That's good enough. I clean up pretty nice. Jowls. Um, space them out a little bit, pull them in. You could probably make some really creepy stuff with this. My nose is broken, dear. Uh, the back of the cheekbones. Ah, okay. Let's round them out a little bit. I like how that looks. Give them a bit more of a poofy face. Because your face tends to puff out and Not sag bad. a bit as you age. Not quite like that, though. So handsome. All right. Next up, uh, let's see the eyes themselves. Okay. Uh, a and D is to rotate the angle, I suppose. Uh, do, 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 do. Whoa! <laughs> God, you can do some really weird stuff with this. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Well, you're okay. This is gonna be what angle? Hmm. You get your puppy dog face all the time. Let's not skew those too much. Oh, that's the face I fell in love with. Wow, you can literally just do the earlobes. Let's make them hang low and back. Because we can. You know, did you give him big bonky ears? Yeah, not bad. Did you fall in love with a man with big ears? Wow, oh, you can literally just do... Um, you can do, like, everything here. So you can, like, rotate the ears inward and outward. Give them, like, flappy ears. Ears going all the way back. Give them fairly wide ears. Um, it says rotation. Okay, you can, like, pull those way out. See, your ears normally stop just at the bridge of your nose. I mean, I don't want to make a freak. I want to make an old guy. Hello, handsome. Hair. So, what am I doing here? Oh, I hit the forehead again. You have such strong cheekbones. Oh, okay. Stunning intellect. I ran Trailblazer, Urban Ranger, Professor, Dapper, the 9 to 5. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. Oh, there's more. Shaggy Suave, Bedraggled, Casual Kemp, De Pompadour. It's not as crazy as Elvis's. Alpha Male, Colonial. I could, wish I could see the back of his head. Beat Nick. <laughs> You know what, let's let's just do the nine to five. Can I get a mustache? I would like a mustache. I like it. It makes you look younger. Um so yeah. What type? Not bad. Not oh, okay. You can actually mix with this is actually really in depth. I'm liking this. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that really broke your nose. Oh god, am I turning it inward and outward? Yes, I am. You have such a strong chin. Type of nose? Yeah, not bad. Do, 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 do. There's a, so many different skin textures, and you see, you can actually see how they're, um, like, blending right on the sides there. Oh god, that's, that's a really broken nose. I don't mind, like, a slightly broken nose, but... Uh, no, that's... Oh god, that, that is not healthy. There's my strapping husband. Okay, so it doesn't just do just that one portion. That clean up pretty nice. I don't want to mess too much. Wow, can you... Wow. Sean totally has your eyes. Uh, let's see. Type. Ah, oh, you can do so much with these. What do you think, huh? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? I don't want to take forever. Uh, let's see, tired eyes, Your rested eyes. eyes. They're one of my favorite things about you. He needs some decent crow's feet if he's going to be... Ooh, wait. There we go. Some decent crow's feet if you want to look old. I uh, don't need to modify the jowls. Type of forehead. So handsome. I eh, will leave it all wrinkle. Wrinkle binkle. T for facial hair. Okay, this includes th the morning stubble. Let's see. Oh, we got a lot of these. Doomsday prepped. Survivalist. Potomox. Gettysburg. <laughs> Whoa. Mutton stash, straight flush, full throttle, goatee, the bard, the hombre beast, prospector, chopper stash, that's an old, it's a common one, dead man's hand. Lone water, hard road, free rider, there's so many of these pistolies. Hmm. I could see him having. What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard? Oh, and I don't, I don't get no feedback from the honey. Ooh, mustache. Very cool. Eh, I kind of like that. I figured that he would have a little stubble after going out. Can I customize his eyebrows? What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Wow, you can do just about everything. There we go. Definitely looking the part of the old man. What can we do with the ears? You look as good as the day we met. Whoa! Malformed ears? What? Oh, God! Oh, man. That's, 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 that's quite a lot. Those are really, really long. Yeah, I don't see there's nothing wrong with the uh, default ones. I think that that works pretty good. Color? Oh, skin color. Sorry, honey. I, I went and changed races. Let's see, Sunkist. I'd see that if he's going to be a little bit of the outdoorsy guy, he'd have a little bit of a tan to him. Neck. Oh, okay. What's different about you? I clean up pretty nice. No, you're not a bodybuilder. You're you're an old man. 
Is that everything? I think that I think we got everything. Okay. Extras? Markings, freckles. That's my handsome guy. A lot of those. Uh, cancel. Forehead blemishes, more like birthmarks, rashes, and other things. Um, he was a war veteran, so let's give him a little damage. Something that would be reasonable. A forced smile. Oh, okay, yeah, I see what that is. Like old Joker right there. There's some lip scratches. Not bad. Not bad. I figure he might have gotten in a in a fight. Got punched once. No, I don't think he's a burn victim. good enough. A little bit of facial damage. Oops, did I forget to apply? Cut. And E to accept. Yeah, I called. He got punched. Uh, let's see. Ow, my hand. Uh, B for the body now, huh? Boink. Whoop. Fattest man there could be. He'd be in a little shape, but a little out of weight. If he's back. But no, is he on active? Nah, he's retired. So we'll say he's a bit... He's lost some of his tone, gained a little weight. There we go. Um, I'm not going to hit sex, because I think that would change everything. Confirm character? Sure. Okay. Hey, Just getting ready. What, are you gonna customize your appearance now too? Scissors. <laughs> Who hangs a newspaper on their toilet? Lock speed is very low. I can overclose the door. Instamash. Instamash. Fancy lad snack cakes. Blamco mac and cheese. Expires in never. Expires in never, huh? You know, let Codsworth take care of it. Abraxo for all your cleaning needs. Huh, I, like, I like these little uh, introductions, but yeah, always let the robot handle your laundry. Oh, wait, I saw something. Oh, sit chair. Ah, broken again. Good old USA. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Do -do 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 -do. I'm just kind of letting him do a little speaking here. No need to get dressed twice. War never changes. You said that in the intro. Can't sleep in the bed. Hmm. This is not actually not that bad of a house. Too bad it'll all be gone. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? Do I get to play with the baby? Okay, I guess I, ju I guess I have played with the baby. There's a ball in there. Baseball? Should get this signed next time we're at the park. What park? Good morning, sir. Your coffee. Hi. Okay. Shut up. 
sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. I would presume so with a name like Sugar Bombs. <clears throat> Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Bat Babies? Looks like the milk got delivered. What's in the fridge? New Coca Cola. Ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Grated 8 plus. Okay. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Newspaper. Hmm. Anything else? More the same. Of course not. It's always the same news. Yay. Sit on the couch. This is actually not that bad of a house. I don't. I mean, I'm kind of spending time just looking at everything right now. God, the, oh, I will admit these colors are, in my opinion, a bit garish. But I'm not big on turquoise. Huh? Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. Hi, Wilson. Hi, you, Tim. Good morning. vault calling. Okay. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so he has are. such a forced smile. Well, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your He's time. He's like, uh, yeah, you're here. A, uh, mm -hmm. a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, <laughs> naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Okay, what do you want me to verify? Any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation? <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Okay. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Ah, okay, so now we're in the uh, creation of new things. Tell us about yourself. Vault Tech needs to know what kind of citizen are to enjoy your future happiness. Well, I'm a coffee drinker. Peter Tompkins. There we go. We'll be Peter Tompkins. These little squeaky noises. Raw physical things, carry and melee attacks, accuracy with vats. Fitness and reflexes. What are the, can you get to the minimum? Okay, so you can do a minimum of four in everything. Mental acuity, number of experience and experience earned, okay? Charm and convince others. Endurance. Do I want to be your average Tom? He's not. He's going to be old. So actually, let's make him a little bit weaker. This would be combat. How much you can carry, which is always good to have. Perception's great. Endurance. No, let's just go with this. Let's say he's a little bit, a little on the weak, a little on the. Uh, Easily winded side, but pretty no pretty knowledgeable and charismatic with a bit of a good good eye for things. After all, it was his keen eyes and intelligence that kept him alive. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations bye bye. on being prepared for the future. Um Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. 
Good answer. I have my moments. Hey, hon. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Mr. Peter, Sean Keep has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You mean, do would you would you would with my you fingers? Go on. Hi, Sean. Smile when you see me. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Okay. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Dog and Listen, dog. after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. The 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 angle there reminds me so much of Dragon Age. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Hun. What's wrong with Codsworth? Followed by yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. Codsworth, sir, we're, uh, we're trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Sir. We, oh, no. we do have we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Oh, oh no. my god. Oh my god. We we need to get to the vault. Now Quickly run Residents of Sanctuary Hill. So I guess we just uh, follow the marker on our map down there. Along with the rest of the screaming civilians. Ah, ah, this one, did you grab the kid? Did you grab the kid? Okay, good, you did grab the kid. You're intelligent. <laughs> oh, hey, aren't, aren't you nice to not be minding? Quickly, everyone run to the vault. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck. Okay, let's. We're trying to save families, people who can make more humans. And everything we can. Now keep moving. Excuse me. Keep moving. Okay, then we'll just keep running quickly. Everyone, jump into the hole in the ground. Hi, people. You must be my future life. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. Whoosh. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. <laughs> yeah, the uh, travel rate of that blast. Whoosh. Yeah, I'm sorry. An atomic blast going directly over your head. The sheer shock wave would one knock you over two break many blood vessels in your body three the heat wave then coming out past as that thing began to close would probably still incinerate parts of you or at least not burn you mummy and daddy ain't gonna be so good we did it we made it we're okay had to see the blast though wasn't Everyone, it pretty please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion no need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we don't. Be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. He is pretty chipper. Excuse me. Head inside. Just up the stairs there. Hey. Up the stairs. No one will listen. No one will do anything and see. Hi, Miss Abel. Hey there. Oh, oh my god. Man. Hey there. Female. Hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. Uh huh. Female and infant. Okay. 
We'll probably stop it once we get situated in Vault 111. I don't know, this is gonna be really long at this rate. Take suits. Right over there. Yes. Wipe. One vault suit. Now just head down the hall. Quickly, follow everything. I love how the name are neighbors. Each of you take over one there. Of these. Take a suit. Brand new vault suits. Thank you. It's uh, down the hallway right thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Oh, so the doctor will me. He looks suspiciously like the doctor from the Excuse first me. game. Follow me. This is our new home. Nobody cares. Oh, Excuse me. Like I'd like to ask questions. Keep this moving. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother Sir? and father down in D.C. Oh, God. What if, what if they didn't make How it? long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get if they come in. As well as comfortable. This... Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. They're gonna cryo freeze some people? Hey, just this way. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Oh, okay. Decontamination. I was like, are they just gonna cryo freeze everybody? I like how my vault suit magically got on. Contaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Nice normal maps. Resident secure. Light from the specular. Normal. Procedure complete. Give me some time. I could probably make some of these. That's what I love about the, these games. Is looking. They cryo freezed us. Decontamination, my ass. Our wife and kid are dead. This is the one. Here. Open it. Oh no, what are you going to do to my wife and child? Peter Tompkins needs to these. Boom. A backup. That's lovely. Why would they unfreeze me just long enough to steal my kid and shoot my wife? This is going out to be wonderful. I hope you don't mind my attitude. I tend to take these sorts of things lightly because I'm an asshole. Oh. I probably shouldn't swear this is a family friendly program. Who am I kidding? <coughs> yeah, your probably, muscles are probably pretty dead after all that. No, my wife Come is on. dead. There has to be a release! No, give me my wife! Come on, come on, come on! Oh god! Why would Vault do this? I'll find he did this. And I'll get shot back. I promise. Well, might as well uh, leave you politely in your cryopod. Hello? Wap, 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 wap. Sorry for like talking over most of this. I I don't know when things are see. Hmm, you monitoring terminal. Welcome to Romco Industries. Terminal link. Thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Cryogenic array. Offline. Premature termination resulting in sudden failure. Controls disabled. Whoops. There was something there. Ah, okay. Life support. Controls disabled. Uh, let's see. Pot up. Cupid stabs. Empty. Mr. and Mrs. Callahan, Mr. and Mrs. Abel, 
Cause of death, asphyxiation due to failure. Oh no! What about Mr. Callahan? Asphyxiation. 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 I'm gonna see a lot of this. Peter Tompkins. Yay, I'm alive! What about uh, Mr. Russell? Asphyxiation? <laughs> yep. Get everything confused? Okay, so, uh, good to know. Everyone's dead. Uh, my son has been kidnapped. And, uh, this is turning out to look like a really wonderful time. Hmm. Yeah, I'd love to vacate if I could figure out how to do that. Actually, um, while we're going over this, um, if anybody would like me to put on the webcam for this, I certainly will. Oh, well, that was easy. Um, let's get ourselves another cryo bay. Vault jumpsuit new. I'm getting used to all the controls, don't mind me. I would love a coffee cup. What is my inventory, though? God. Ugh, God. More deceased cryopod information? I'm not gonna... I keep hitting escape. I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, because I bet you they're all gonna say asphyxiated. Yep, they all died of asphyxiation due to life support failure. Everyone in my village is dead. Oh no. <coughs> Let's see, is this another cryo bay? <laughs> that's actually that's where it's telling me to go. I don't ever want to go where things tell me to. Accessible uh, ball peen hammer. Sure, I'll take a ball peen hammer, screwdriver, wrench. If I knew how to open my inventory and equip things, I'm like naked now. Quick save, okay. Can I please get an inventory? I guess I'll just be the naked man. Auto equip. That works. I'd like to know how to open my inventory, please. Bobby pin, pencil? I don't need a pencil. Stimpak, sure. Security terminal. What you got for me? Welcome to Rapco Industries. Let's see. Security instructions. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Security eyes only. Let's see. Vault 111 was designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Under no circumstances are allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference will result in death. Hmm. Staff duties. Science staff. Vital signs of the residents. Hourly life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished. Okay. What about the security guys? Intrusions. Leaks. Disputes. Overseer and vault tech. Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of the normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparations. Overseer discretions. Yay, favoritism! Uh, resident admittance. Research staff responsible for resident intake and escort each cry a thing. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security of necessity. Do -do -do -do. Clear an evacuation. Both clear the nuclear event. Once conditions are all deemed safe, the terminal will receive an all clear notice. Vault tech may be evacuated. Not associated. Including government and military residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. Classified in a short-term asylum, non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties to base the maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. Unless... Okay. Anybody can pause and read that if they would like. 
security logs. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got it all. The residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us, the iceberg, and the icebergs. I don't get it. Egghead has tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for the better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we're smiling at them all the time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have just told them something? Well, no. That was part of your requirements not to tell anybody anything. Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and the support staff had a little party. Best gift got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. Another scientist came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. Are they hiding something from us? Another company secret for only the higher-ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the all-clear is supposed to come through. And we can start rebuilding. Only a few weeks left on our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting their stir-crazy. Some people are even saying the all-clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that some people have been... It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same brick break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months tops. Overseer is telling everyone to be patient and focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad's going on. I just know it. The main door accessing the vault is malfunctioning. Now the only way through is the Overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all time from this little makeshift checkpoint. Gotten by a domain tonight. Support staff is security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. No all clear from Vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the old seer about opening the vault, and I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff for supposing to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine they have over we have overnight. What is going to be consequences? I've talked with everyone. It's time. Only one way or another, we are getting out of the vault. Rebellion! Mutiny! Grrr. It's not escape, it's the other one. Everyone's job. Extermination is everyone's job. That's a lovely brooch. Uh, let's see. Coffee cup, file cabinet. I'll take a cigarette. That's blocking. Eh, getting close to the end, but we'll probably try to see if we can stop at the hour long marker to anybody watching along with this. So far, very interesting. That is really, really rusty. And low texture resolution. Probably for fast loading. Settings, display, floating markers. Floating markers, I guess, we'll keep on for now. Oh, look, my first rad roach. Rawr! We'll take Giant. it. Roaches? What the hell? Yeah. Everyone's job is extermination, after all. I already have a security baton, but I'll take another security baton, if I'm remembering correctly, from uh, Fallout 3, that you need more weapons to repair existing weapons. Coffee cup, beer bottle. Can I break beer bottles? No, I can knock them over. Recreational terminal. Okay. Oh god, can I actually play this? Really? Is this like just Donkey Kong? With nukes and barrels? Yeah, this is literally just Donkey Kong with Vault Tech appearances. No, run from the barrel! Can't climb ladders, apparently, when you're in the iron armor. This is literally Donkey Kong. We're only gonna do one round. Oh no! This, yeah, that, that's literally just Donkey Kong. Dang, it's not escape, it's tap. Yes, I want to quit the game. That, that was kind of funny. Oh, I could take a hot plate, okay. I tend to be a hoarder in these kind of games, so it probably is going to end up being bad for me, since I've made myself low endurance. Cleanliness is goodliness. Looking for more roaches and anything else I can possibly take of good use. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop -doo. Oh, I kicked something over. Sleep in the bed? Yeah, do that in the middle of just getting out of this thing. This must be the security personnel's lockers. 
I think it sounds so ominous. Oh yeah, that's that's good. That's great. We're gonna go around the electric boogaloo of death. Crickle crack crack crack. What happened here? Where is everyone? Item is too heavy to carry. Yeah, you and your weak butt. Oh no, more rad roaches. I have suffered my first instance of red jelly. Which I've, I've never been a huge fan of red jelly. Really, I haven't. Is this all that's left? It must have been a while of people being dead. Again, I would love to know how to open my inventory. F to view available favorited items. Zero, three, or four. Is it press three, zero, or four to use a favorited item? Okay. So, three is melee, four is gun. Okay, and zero is stim pack right now, I suppose. Overseer's terminal. That could be useful. Okay. Sorry about reading that out loud. That was really, really long. Try to reveal an portable on demand form. Cry latest my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of chemicals or components. Overseer's log. Uh, let's see, October 33. Okay, that's talking about the bomb. Okay, here's the last one. Security personnel have turned on me, demanding to be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots, I will not open the door before being irrate to be irradiated. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't feel like it, well, that's fear of mouse defeat. So he opted to kill everybody. Nice. Coming back later for you. Okay. That will be a, uh, a little thing to come back for then. What are we at? 53 minutes? Again, I want to be sure I check almost everything. Take the rounds out of the locker. That was just a door. Dresser ain't got nothing in it. I'm liking the interface for searching things. You can just kind of zoom over it real quick and then mouse up and down. Yes. Terminal should open this. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And I guess we're free to go. Gun equipped, you can hold mouse to the aim. Well, I'm liking the little money signs that are happening every time they happen. That must be the XP counter going up. Want to be sure we take all that red roach meat? Probably can't eat very much of it because we're a weak person. Hello. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Doesn't look like it. Left alt while holding a gun. If those rule anything I know about this thing. I one should have attracted a bug. 
Come on, buggy. That's a, a nice delay on that, you know, swing there. Do I have my item screen yet? Did I literally have to find my item screen? I like how it just insta-screened without going out through anything else. So, I can now do this. Okay. How do I tune? Okay, so now I have my inventory. Yay! And I have my glasses. Don't I look great? There's a tiny bit of input delay I'm noticing. I love how I can't re-hit R to ready myself out. What do we got here? Vault door controls? I guess let's open the door! Let's watch this. Flashing lights, scary noises. They definitely got quite the style going with Fallout 4 here. Are those heat bar? Yeah, they are heat sensors. They're like toaster racks. The lights! Oh my god, I can't see! To the light outside. This, can this open yet, please? Oh, so it can. Yay! We're free! Coming down? Yes, they are. It's so happy music. What time is it anyway? Oh, wow, it's 12 o'clock at night. My sister must be asleep, and she'd be real mad if I woke her up. Let me through. Thank you. Do you want to change anything? No, I don't think so. Do I want to become stronger, actually? You know what? I might actually pick up a little bit more strength, because in all honesty, I've always been, uh... No, we're gonna commit to it. Screw it. We're committing. Yellow! Yeah, sure. We'll just call that, uh, the nicety thing. So I'm probably gonna have to be very careful with my ammunition and guns and do a lot of scavenging because I'm low on my strength. Oh god, it's so bright, I can't see! Yep, there we go. Wait for it all to come into view. Alright guys, well that has been the first episode of Fallout 4. I hope to continue exploring this wasteland and commentating on it for you guys. Um, I'm definitely going to keep the other game series going, so we'll have a mixture of content for everyone. I hope you enjoyed escaping the vault with me, looking at me messing around with all the facial features. Yay for character creation! And, uh, yeah, vault Tech, they're a bunch of scheming bastard liars. I'll be sure to kill anybody I meet, because I'm a horrible person. That's the other thing I was going to wonder, is that, um, I don't really know what kind of person I'm going to be in the Wasteland. Am I going to be a good guy, good guy Greg, who wants to help everybody, or am I going to be a scumbag Steve and try to kill everyone and steal other stuff and use my charisma to manipulate people like a puppet master? Anyway, with that having been said, um, as always, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, leave it a comment too. I had great fun getting started off with this, seeing a new game. And 
If you want to support this series and help my channel, share the video with your family and friends. And if you want to see more from me, consider subscribing. As always, I've been the Void Talon, and I will see you in the abyss next time. Stay sharp, my friends. Bye.